Hello people. Okay, so this is a tutorial about how to undervolt your CPU and also how to reduce, in case of the gaming laptops, the heat that the CPU is producing. Okay, so as you might know, this is the Acer Predator Helios 300 that I've been benchmarking and reviewing. And this laptop has a small issue that, for example, when we're gaming really demanding games, we're getting temperatures up to 92 degrees Celsius. Even if, for example, the specifications for this Kaby Lake i7 processor is that says that the maximum operating temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, I don't believe that it's really like healthy for the for the CPU or the computer to have like high temperatures above 80. In what I know and I have heard from many people is that everything under 80 for a gaming laptop is okay, but everything above above 80 Celsius is like dangerous for the laptop. Okay, I'm not gonna discuss here if it's if it's uh, not dangerous or not anything above 80, but at least I wanna keep it try, try to keep the CPU under 80s. So to achieve that, we have like two basic things that we can do here. The first of all is a process called undervolting. What undervolting is, is that we send less power to the CPU cores. So in this case, they don't consume as much energy. And for that reason, we don't generate that much heat. This is not gonna affect the performance. At least I haven't noticed like anything about uh, performance issues because of this. Okay, so uh, to do the undervolting, we're gonna use this that it's called the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Uh, you can download it from the Intel side. I'm gonna leave a link below for the people that have wants to download it. Okay, so when we open the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, we're gonna see like on the left side that there's a menu, and we're gonna go to the one that says Core. Okay, here many values of the core of the core performance, but the only one that we're gonna focus is the one that says uh, core voltage offset. By default, this is 0 0.000 volts, but what we're gonna do is that we are gonna start reducing this value to negative values. Each, in this case, each CPU has like its own value, so we need to be careful when playing with this. We can like start decreasing by uh, 0 0.005, and start decreasing and keep seeing if the computer how it reacts because if we go like too far from the limit we're gonna make the computer freeze and it's gonna restart and that's not good so i know that for this particular laptop the limit is minus 0 0.120 volts but before going into that we're gonna try to make it like a small stress test okay so i'm gonna make a cpu stress test and we're gonna go for two minutes, we're not gonna do much. Here in the, here below, down below, you, we can see how much is the CPU utilization, memory, the CPU temperature, we're gonna see that we're around 64 degrees. Oh, you're gonna have to ignore me a second because I went a little ahead from the future. Okay, hold on. Later, I'm gonna get in detail with what is this software and what else does it does. Okay, so let's suppose that the settings are like completely from factory, haven't touched anything. Okay, so for example, we are getting right now a max frequency of 2.8, 2.9 gigahertz, and we have a temperature of 66 degrees Celsius, 65. Let's wait one more minute to see like which is the maximum temperature that we reach. Right now we are in 68. What I have noticed is like, even if we are making this stress test, we're not gonna get like really high temperatures because the real, in this case, test for these laptops is in gaming. For example, when you want to game in ultra settings and things like that, then it's when the CPU gets like really hot. So maybe here you're not gonna see like the temperatures going above like the 80s or the 90s, but in my other videos like The Witcher 3 or Crisis 2, you can see, well, not in Crisis 2, but in Minecraft also you can see like how the CPU goes above the 80s and gets into the 90s sometime, which of course is nothing, well, at least in my opinion, is not good for the CPU. For me, everything below 80 should be like what's the normal in this case. So we can see here that the test, the test is about to end and we're getting like the max temperature of 67 degrees Celsius. Sixty-eight. 
Okay, I think that the maximum that we got is 68 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we're gonna make another thing. Now that we have test like our temperature is, for example, the high is 68 Celsius, we are gonna start playing now with the, in this case, with the under bolting. So we go again to core, we go to core voltage offset, and I'm gonna go directly to the, which I know that is the limit for this CPU that it's a, minus 120 volts. So I'm gonna click in apply. And now I'm gonna go back to the stress test. We're gonna run for another two minutes and let's see which is the results. Uh, at least, should be like under, we shouldn't reach 68 this time. That was our higher temperature. Let's see like which are the temperatures that we reach. Well, like we see that the highest so far is 63, 65, 64. And I want you guys to notice something. When, when it says max core frequency is 3.14 gigahertz and you're, some of you are gonna wonder why we're getting 3.14 gigahertz if our CPU um, is supposed to be like 2.8 gigahertz, 2.80 gigahertz, uh, because uh, that's like what the i7 Kaby, this version of i7 Kaby Lake is supposed to have, 2.80 gigahertz. But now we are in 3.9 gigahertz, and that's important to know because that's the Turbo Boost technology from from Intel. When the CPU like starts to get in too much load and needs more power, the Turbo Boots kicks in and start like giving more power to the CPU, so the gigahertz start growing up. Okay, and this is important to know because, as you may know, more gigahertz is it's because you are getting more energy, and in this case, it's gonna produce more heat, and this is extremely important because I have another video in which I was explaining how disabling the Turbo Boost helps like reducing the heat drastically when you're gaming because before deactivating the turbo boost i was in the 90 in the 80s 87 average and then i was getting into the 90 92 96 celsius so i was like okay let's see if we try to disable the turbo boost and we leave like the temp at the cpu with its default clock speed and surprise actually that worked pretty well after I, after I disabled the Turbo Boost, I didn't get past in the 80s. And that's what I'm gonna show you next, how we disable Turbo Boost in this system. Okay, so we finished the test here, and I think that the maximum temperature was 65, if my memory doesn't fail. Well, they says, here says rest and maximum, because before this I was testing another things you know, for other benchmarks. But okay, it's supposed that that the recent average was 64, and I think that in a while ago was uh, 65, 66 Celsius. But now we have underbolt our CPU, because remember that now we are in a negative 0 0.120 volts. And even if it's not that much, this helps a little bit to reduce by a few degrees the CPU temperature. Also, if you are a more experienced user, you can play a little bit with the clock rates and more things to, or, uh, to under, under clock the CPU a little more. Okay, but right now we're just gonna play with the core voltage offsets. So, like I said before, we just have to make sure that we reach, we reach like a stable under bolting for our CPU because if we go farther from what, farther from what it is, it's gonna turn off. So we know that for the predictor values, the maximum under bolting is 0 0.120 volts. So yeah, we hit apply and that's it. We are we are under bolted. Okay, now, so going into the next trick, like I said before, what we can do is also, in this case, disabling the turbo boost from Intel. And in that way, we can reduce drastically the CPU temperature. So for this, there's a program called Throttle Stop that it's supposed to work also as an underclock software. So in this throttle stop that I'm gonna also give the give the link in the description, once you install it, you have this little window. Okay, so it, we want to disable in this case the turbo boost. We just click here in this box that says disable turbo. 
when we click here and also we make sure that the speed step technology is enabled because this is a technology that helps like cooling the CPU. Okay, so also we go here where it says options and we make sure that we have a start minim minimize selected and also where it says minimize and close. In this case, we make sure that the program is working. And after all, after we selected all these things, we click here where it says turn on. Okay, now the program, the throttle stop is working. And now, for example, we can make another test in the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. If we remember a while ago, we were like passing the 3.10 gigahertz. That's been with the Turbo Bulls enabled. Now we're gonna, dis after the Turbo Bulls has been disabled, we're gonna try the bench, the stress testing again. So we're gonna start testing and let's see the, first of all, the max core frequency our CPU reaches. As we can see in the max core frequency, we are not passing 2.79 gigahertz. We're stable there. And that's really amazing because we have I approximately like 0.40 gigahertz of the CPU. So we're not gonna generate that much heat. And at, le at least for gaming, this is like a huge improvement. Also, if you see my package temperatures on the, on the left, that's like the current CPU temperature. You are watching that now, we're not even like passing the 60s. Hey, we remember a while ago, while well, we were like in 65, 66, 67, and now we are keeping under 60 degrees Celsius. Like right now in the stress test, you 60 is like, oh my God, it's amazing. But when we're actually gaming, it's gonna be under 80 degrees Celsius. That is what we want to achieve. Also, for example, some software like in this case, the MSI Afterburner, but in this case, I'm gonna use the Predator Sense Utility. That is the one that I have here in my Predator, Helios 300. And here I can play with the fans RPMs. So for example, let's say that I want a game even more and I'm not even satisfied with how much I have reduced my CPU temperature. I can also put the, in this case, the fans at max. Of course, it's gonna make like a little noise, but now we're gonna get even a few more de degrees Celsius off the CPU because now the fans are in max. We are at 6,122 RPMs. And we are seeing now that hardly we're hitting the 60 degrees Celsius where there we hit 61, but now we are 58, 57, 59. All these things are gonna improve a lot the temperature of your computer. As you can see, like first we were in 67 degrees Celsius, and now we are in 57 degrees Celsius with the stress test. But of course in gaming, you're gonna see even better results than this. We're not gonna pass the, we're not gonna reach the 80s. So I hope that you find this video helpful. Remember that I'm gonna leak Leave the links for all the software in the description. And any question, just feel free to comment. Have a great day.